funky. It's Demi, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're just joining in as now, welcome! So for today's video, as you can tell by the title, this is going to be my only using Save As Beauty for 24 hours video. I'm so, so excited because I haven't done a 24 hour beauty video in the longest time and I know that you really love them. So if there's any more you want to see, make sure you leave them in the comments below. I've got a list of them that I'm slowly ticking off and working through. And if you haven't seen all of the previous ones that I've done, make sure you watch the playlist. I've did likes of Asda, Poundland, Home Bargains, I think. Oh, it was B&M actually. So yeah, I have did a whole load of them and it's super duper exciting. But today we're going to be doing Save As. So to me, Save As is one of them store where if you need anything beauty wise, it's so, so cheap. They do like the shower gels, they do a small selection of makeup but they have lots of beauty and skincare items and I picked up a whole bunch of stuff I spent over a hundred pound for this video so if you appreciate that give it a thumbs up so as you can see I'm at my partner Sean's house and I have a full face of makeup on and I'm going to be starting this video this evening where I take my makeup off so I'm going to be going into the bathroom and using all of the skincare to take my makeup off and I'm very excited and then tomorrow morning I've got full face of makeup with their stuff we've got shower gels fragrance sprays whatever you name it we have got it to test for this video so yeah let's go and take my makeup off and test Seva's skincare okay guys so for the occasion i got myself a little face cloth so this is just the country club face cloth 100 cotton i think this was literally like 49 pence it was really really cheap so i'm really excited it's in this nice little color anyway so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm just going to bend down because the tripod's not big enough so you can't see it the first thing i'm going to do is cleanse my face yeah so this is the cleanser that i picked up now they had a huge selection of cleansers this one was a little bit more expensive because i did pick it up because it did say that it was vegan friendly and i'm trying to be a little bit more aware of that so this is the indian clay non-forming cleanser deep cleansing and unclogging anti-blemish Skin. so i'm gonna use this to cleanse my face with first so we'll give this a bash i really like to use a cloth and make sure that it's full of hot water so it's kind of like a hot cloth cleanser it's what i like to do like when you're at the spa i like to live that spa life so i usually just rinse the full flannel through i don't know why i'm telling you my skin routine but i am anyway until the hot water starts coming out and then the flannel starts to get nice and hot and then while that's still rinsing, I'm just gonna open the cleanser. Okay, so it's kind of like a gray color. It looks like a clay mask, to be honest. And then what I do is I literally just wet it on my hands and then lather it straight onto my face. It actually smells really, really nice. This actually feels like such a thick, good quality cleanser. Like it's really, really getting into the places. This feels so thick. Usually when cleansers are cheap, I feel like they're quite thin and runny, but this is definitely more like a face mask. And then I just get my cloth and wipe away the cleanser. And as you can see, the makeup comes with it. Ooh, I am impressed. Okay. Okay, so I've taken the um, makeup off of the cleanser. Honestly, it's left my skin feeling really nice and one layer of the cleanser did seem to remove majority of my makeup, which is good. The next thing I'm gonna do is wash my face. But the face wash I got is still by the same brand called Botonic Lab. And this is the Neem Leaf Gentle Face Wash, cleansing and purifying without over drying. And this is what it looks like. I really like the packaging of this brand. I've never seen them before, before I've seen them in Savers. So I like to fill the sink for a face wash with some nice hot water and then i basically just pour straight out okay so this is like a clear gel consistency and i just oh my god it literally smells like elements it smells so good and then we'll get the towel and give it a wipe Okay, 
Okay, so that is the cleanser and the face wash done. Honestly, I'm really impressed with the results. I'm gonna go in the shower now. Obviously, I can't take you in the shower with this, but the shower gel that I picked up in Savers is the Tingly Mint and Tea Tree Vegan Shower Gel. This is by the original source. Now, I've never used this particular scent from the original source, but I have used their stuff before, and I usually really like it. So I'll give this a bash in the shower, and I'll let you know how I get on with it when I get out the shower. The Fufi is stinging. Now it's a very nice shower gel and when you're using it, it seems like you're in a packet of mints. It smells delightful. However, it's not one to put in the private parts, honeys, unless you really want to feel like <laughs> down there because uh, yeah, feeling rather fresh right now. I did skepticize about putting it down there because it said it was peppermint. So I hope I don't end up with a UTI because of the fragrance of it. But I just thought, you know what? I'm in the shower, go for it. I need it clean down there, so I might as well give it a bash a little bit sore it's a little bit like poof, open the heavens so yeah just thought i'd warn you of that but it's nice it smells really nice and i smell like a mint which is good because who doesn't want to smell like a mint okay guys as you can see my skin is gone a bit red from the cleanser and the face wash not really sure how that's happened but oh my skin has actually had a reaction No, it definitely is, guys. I've had a reaction. I don't know if something in the cleanser or the face wash hasn't sat well on my face. But my skin was actually really clear this morning. So I think I've had a bit of a reaction to something. Unless it's from the minty shower gel. That's like, obviously I didn't use it on my face. But it might have like steamed out my face and made it all fresh. Anyway, I have two more products that I'm going to try tonight. We're going to crack on with it. I'm going to try these. Probably not the best thing to be trying if I've had a reaction, but we're going to go for it anyway. These are the Hydronic Acid Cleansing Pads, and they just look like this. So these are actually, they look really nice. And I was speaking to the one of the work as it um, save as, and they highly recommended these. And then the other thing that I'm going to try is this. This is by the brand Balance Active Formula, and this is the Hydronic Deep Moisture Serum. So I really like serums for moisturising my skin over moisturisers. I mean, I use a bit of both, um, but I thought I would get a serum to try and moist my skin. But yeah, we're going to try the cleansing pads first and see how we'll get on with these. Let's give them the sniff test. Mm. They haven't really got much of a scent, to be honest. They're just not really that many. So they're just like little pads. And then they've got like a little textured side on them for like cleansing your face and then just a normal side. So I'm literally just going to rub one of them all over my face. To be honest, it doesn't feel like harsh on my skin. I thought it was going to sting and feel really harsh, but it actually doesn't. I'm quite impressed. Give the nose a rub. It actually feels so nice. Like my skin just feels nice and fresh with it. So as you can see, it's still actually taking makeup off as well. Can you see? It's actually still like removed makeup from my face. It just shows you even when you cleanse and wash your face, there's still like stuff on your face. It's just madness. So I feel like I only need one of them as well. So they'll last you pretty long because you get 50 in a tub. But yeah, I actually really like that on my skin. I would use it again. So the next thing I'm going to use for tonight is my serum. And then for tomorrow, I have some face masks and that to try like after tomorrow when I take my makeup off. But yeah, let will whack out the serum and see how we'll get on with this. This is what my serum looks like. It's just got a little squidgy on it. It's quite cute. Get some Oh God, don't wobble off the bed, huns. Okay, so this is is um, morning and night serum apply the serum by gently smoothing it over the face and neck now I use the pixie vitamin C serum oh feels like plastic either ones I use are like metally but anyway I like to have a sniff of everything to be honest it doesn't really have a scent the consistency seems quite like gooey I think it might be quite sticky to be honest I hope it's not a really sticky one because I've got to sleep in it anyway I just usually drop some onto my hand and then rub it in i always put it on gently first because i'm like please don't sting but it's actually not stinging it feels quite nice they had these serums and like loads of different like types and one of them that they had was snake venom now i don't know if it's actual snake venom because i know you can get weird skincare that's like snail juice and stuff so i mean i'm sorry but if that's actual snake venom then i'm not here for that i definitely wasn't getting that one so I just got the like deep moisture one because I do get really, really dry skin. But it actually feels really nice. I'm just going to get a tiny bit more. 
just for my forehead because you can see by the size of it it needs a bit more and I'm just gonna make sure I put it everywhere especially around my nose because that's where I get a lot of dry flakes it's not stinging or anything like it feels really nice on my skin it is a tiny tiny bit sticky but not like unbearable or not uncomfortable but just like a little bit noticeable but that is the skincare for tonight I like to keep it pretty simple I am concerned about this little rash situation we've got going on though I hope I don't break out in a bigger rash because I've decided to carry on trying new skincare but yeah i'm actually pretty happy with the skincare that i've tried tonight tomorrow we've got a full face of makeup we've got some smell sprays we've got um face masks and everything like that so be excited for that but yeah i'll see you in the morning for our makeup okay morning guys so i'm actually at the new house that i bought which is works and renovations going on but I'm here, Sean's upstairs. If you do hear drilling, I am really sorry. But I'm gonna be doing my makeup with all of the stuff that I got from Savers. So I got a selection of brushes. Now I have just realized though, I forgot to pick anything up for the eyebrows. So I haven't got anything for my eyebrows, which I'm a bit annoyed about. So they're probably gonna be staying this way. But I did pick up this little Real Techniques brush and then I got some brushes. So I picked up this, this is just a blush I brush, this is by the brand True Professional London, they're actually really pretty brushes, they're in like a mermaid colour. Then I picked up this, this is a um, large blending brush, I thought this would do for some like eyeshadow. And then I got this, this is the brow brush and wand, so this is just um, for eyebrows but obviously at least I can brush my eyebrows. And then the last thing I got here is a powder brush, which just looks like this. So I picked up a selection of brushes to use as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is the foundation. Now, I don't know about savers around your area, but my savers kinda has a Rimmel stand full of Rimmel makeup and then like a few bits of other makeup. So quite a lot of the makeup is either Rimmel or Sunkissed, but there's a few other brands in as well. So I'm gonna use this. This is the Rimmel London Match Perfection Foundation. This is in the SPF 20. Now they didn't have the best shade range, so I went with what I bought, and this is in the 103 True Ivory. So before I do that though, I'm just gonna go back in with one of the cleansing pads that I used yesterday on my face just to refresh it this morning before I left Sean's house. I washed my face with some of the face wash again, but I'm just gonna give it a re-cleanse. Cause I hate putting makeup on when my face just doesn't feel like freshly cleansed. Is anyone else like that? So let's crack on with it. Let's get the little sponge out. Ooh, I love a new sponge. I've never had one this shape before, so this'll be interesting. Da -da -da. To be honest, it looks, it might be like... Okay, so this is it. It might be too dark, but we're just gonna give it a bash. Mm, looks all right. Okay, I'm gonna use one of these palettes, just the mirror, because I haven't got a mirror with us. Okay. Mm, it is slightly too dark. I actually really like how you can hold this sponge. Okay, so it is slightly, slightly too dark, but it's not something that I don't think I'll be able to make work. Like, it's not, like, ridiculously dark. But it's just because I've got absolutely no tan on, I'm, like, so, so, so pale. It smells amazing. I think I used this foundation years ago. I used to use it, and I always remember it's got, like, this distinctive smell. It smells so nice. Okay, so I've put a really light layer of the foundation on. It looks really nice, but I think if you want more like full coverage, you have to build it a bit. But I'm actually not bothered about having a more natural look. So the next thing I've got is a concealer. Ooh. This is the Rimmel London Last and Radiance Concealer. I don't believe I've ever used a Rimmel concealer. So what shade did I get this in? I got this in at 10 Ivory, so hopefully it'll be okay. Okay, so I've just put a layer of the concealer on the places that I felt needed a little extra help in hand. And then I'm just gonna go back with the little sponge and dab it all in. Yeah, that's actually a really nice concealer. It's covered up the areas nice and just gives a bit of a 
cleaner base. Okay, so more recently I've not been wearing powder on my face simply because I've got really dry skin, I have dermatitis and it's been caking up a lot recently. So we're going to go straight in with like powdered items, but I'm not going to powder all over my face. So the first thing I have is this, this is from Sunkist and this is the Sunkist Sunstone Bronzer infused with minerals matte bronzer. So then there's two shades as well, so you've got this darker shade which is sunset hour and then you've got this light ash which is sunset rise oh no sweet sunrise yeah i've got them too i'm gonna use probably this angled brush that i got the blusher brush just because i feel it'll give us more of a define for the like, bronze areas just been looking down at the makeup and realised I forgot to put a fucking primer on. I did buy a primer. I bought the Rimmel London 8 hour wear primer. But I forgot to put it on because I'm an idiot. And I'm not going to take all the makeup off just to put a primer on. Because that would be a waste. So I'll have to test this out some other time. Anyway, so this is my little brush. Oh, ooh, it's so soft so it's soft and pretty okay so i'm gonna take the deeper shade sunset hour because i just think it looks nice and i like how they're matte because i find a lot of sun kissed items are shimmer and i'm just gonna try and give my face some like definition because at the minute i just feel like i look like a big moon Woo! this brush actually feels so so soft Okay, so that's such a pretty colour. It's just kind of contoured my face up a little bit. So I use mainly that colour. I feel like that one's a little bit too light. But yeah, that colour seems to have like really given us a bit of definition in the places I've put it. The next thing I'm going to do is go in with a little bit of blusher. So this is the same type of palette, but this is the Rose Quarter Blusher. Three different tones of blusher. I feel like naturally I'm drawn to this middle one. So I think that's the one that I'm going to go for. And then I'm going to use the powder brush. That might really annoy people that I've used them the other way around. But here we go. Oh, I just love a new brush. These are such actually pretty brushes. And they're really sturdy as well. And these were only like £2 on maybe for the bigger brushes. But they weren't expensive at all. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the rosy pink one here. This one is called pink solitaire it's really nice that looks really nice just gonna whoa pigment oh my god that's actually so pigmented but i'm not mad at it it's so cute oh my god look at that this is actually such a stunning blush I bet I stop applying it or else I look bloody like a clown. But this has added so much colour to the face. I really like it. So after that, the next thing I have is a highlight. But I realised I didn't get a highlight brush. But I got this brush, which is a large bending brush, which I'm going to use for the eyeshadow. But I also bought this. This is the Dazzle Makeup Brush Colour Sweeper. So it removes colour from your makeup brushes. It just looks like this. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to use this, this brush for a little bit of highlight and then my eyeshadow so we'll see how this goes okay so the highlight that i got is again from sunkist sunkist and rimmel seem to be the two main brands that my savers had so this is the sunkist bake to perfection blush and highlight duo but obviously i'm going to use the highlight because i've already got a blush on okay so i'm just going to go in with this little brush and pick some up on there okay where will we put it first we'll go with nose first oh Oh my god, that's actually such a pretty colour. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Put some up here. Um, we'll put some in the corner of my eye as well because who doesn't like a shimmery corner eye? Okay, and then I'm gonna just. Oh my god, can you see that? It's actually really pretty. That is such a pretty colour. Oh, I'm here for that. Okay, so where's my little brush cleaner thing? It doesn't really smell of anything, but it says that you just like... Mm. Okay. 
So I've just like swiped the brush in there. So that brush should be as good as new now again. So for eyeshadows, I've got a selection. I picked up this little palette, which is the Sunkissed Sweet Berry Eyeshadow Palette, and it comes with six colours. But then I also got this from the brand Dazzle Baked Eyeshadow because it's a really pretty gold eyeshadow and I really wanted to try it. So I'm going to use some of the matte shades in this palette, then I'm going to try that gold because we're being Nikki tutorials today. Okay, so these colours aren't actually named, but I'm going to go in with like these two, I think. Um, I thought they were matte, but they actually look like they've got a slight shimmer on them, so not ideal, but we'll, we'll make it work. Oh, it's actually such a pretty colour. I've just like dulled it up with the darker colour. Okay, so once I've darkened that, I'm going to go in straight with this Dazzle um, eyeshadow and try and give myself a little shimmer. Guys, look at how absolutely gorgeous that looks. Like, that actually looks so pretty. Let me give it a swatch. I don't feel like it's going to come up very much. We'll see in that. It is actually... Mm. Okay. It feels like kids makeup, like it doesn't feel like there's anything coming off it. There is, because it's on your finger. Mm, okay, so you do have to like, you know, give it quite a swatch. I'm just gonna try and put some on my eyelid. I feel like you do have to press pretty hard on it though, to get any kind of payback. <gasps> oh, oh wow. It looks like a super rose gold color. It actually just looks like a really rosy gold. It's so cute. Oh, okay. It's not that bad. I mean, ignore my ferocious makeup skills, but it's not actually that bad. It's quite a pretty color. Okay, so from then, I do have a few extra products. I've got some lashes. So these are the JWA Girls for Attitude Lux Silk Effect Lashes. They look like this. I thought they looked so, so pretty. So we're gonna put the lashes on. I've got an eyeliner to try as well. This is the Wonder Eyeliner by Rimmel London. It's a wing eyeliner. Now I am rubbish, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. And I do have a mascara. This is the Rimmel London Scandal Reloaded Volume Mascara. So got a few more products to try and then I did also pick up some of the duo glue this is one of the best eyelash glues to be honest it's the only eyelash glue I ever ever use it's so so good and I swear by it but I'm gonna try and do a bit of eyeliner <laughs> this is where it all goes wrong okay definitely not even but we've got some sort of wing so i've got the eyelash glue set i'll put a little bit of mascara on now while i'm waiting for the glue to set okay so i'm not sure if i'm gonna like this mascara has got a very thick wand oh it's actually all right to be fair it's not as bad as i thought Okay, so I've just put a layer of mascara on and it definitely has lengthened up the lashes, like it's given them a bit of length. Probably not my favourite mascara I've ever used, but it works, you know? Guys, how unreal are these lashes? They're absolutely beautiful. I love them. Okay, so I've popped the lashes on. I'm just going to brush my eyebrows up because I haven't got any product for them. Usually I would darken my eyebrows up, but I haven't got any product. I'm just literally giving them a brush with the spoolie that I got. Oh my god, my eyebrows collect skin from my dermatitis, so I have to brush them to get it all out. Okay, the last makeup product that I have to try is a lip product. Now, this is the W7 Skinny Lip and 2 Matte Liquid Lip Colour. I got it in this really nice nude colour. I think it actually looks so pretty. Now, I am more of a gloss girl these days, just putting it out there, but... Ooh, this looks such a pretty colour, though. Okay, let me we'll whack this on the lip. Mmm, much lighter than I wanted it to be. It's like really pink. I wanted it to be more like a dark brown nude. But this is the makeup. Let me have a chat. 
honestly this is like a gorgeous everyday makeup look i think i think it looks really really pretty and i would use all of the products again the only thing i would say is that you buying makeup from savers isn't the cheapest because it is rimmel makeup and i don't think rimmel's like really that cheap like when i did my b m 24 hours video the makeup from that video was actually cheaper because it was like cheaper brands like w7 and stuff and even the george asda 24 hour one was cheaper so it's not the cheapest of makeups however i do think it's a really pretty look i would use all of the products again i really like the way that it's turned out and yeah it's just a nice natural everyday makeup i got some body spray things to try i really wanted to try this this is the yardley london blossom and peach fragrance i've got this to try but then i've also got this this is the charlie powerful body mist so we've got a body spray and a body mist so i'm gonna try these so we'll try the yardley one first let me see what it smells like Woo! oh it smells a bit like hairspray actually it smells a bit like a grandma actually it doesn't it smells nice oh my god my mind my nose has literally just changed its mind three times spray this on my clothes actually do like the smell of that now okay and then for my like perfume body mist i got this this is the charlie powerful addictant super sweet raspberry body mist revlon i did not know revlon made charlie products did anyone else know that or am i just an idiot okay this is the one where i like spray it on my neck i hope i like it oh whoa oh my god it is so fruity it smells amazing get some of that on your wrist Oh, I really like the smell of that. That smells so nice. Okay, so that is my makeup done for the day. That's a smelling nice for the day. I will be back later on when I try the face masks and probably use the skincare again. That's when I will be back. So, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, so I've came home tonight and I've just cleansed and washed all my makeup off my face. And I'm going to be testing out the face mask that I got from Savers. So this is the Hydronic Acid Face Mask. Energizes dull and fatigued skin for renewed appearance. I definitely need a little bit of that in my life right now. Now I think it is going to be one of the jelly ones. It says Moisture Boost and Gel Mask Treatment. I'm actually really excited to try this. So I've just washed my face off with a cleanser. But I'm going to go back in with these little pads that I got from Savers. The Hydronic Acid ones. And I'm just going to go over my face with one of these. Oh Christ. I actually really, really like these little pads. They feel so nice on the skin and refreshing. So I'm just going over with these. Mm, there we go. Got you a good little handle. Okay, let me try this. The only thing is, it looks very watery. It doesn't look like a sheet mask where it's like... Ooh. It smells of coconut. Oof, it's, hard to, it's hard to get it just slips out your fingers i think i've put a hole in it with my nail which isn't ideal mm, it's dripping it's a drippy one hmm. oh my god it's cold it's cold it's cold it's cold see this is the second one of these gel ones i've tried I tried a one in the B&M video as well, a gold one, and honestly, I prefer the sheets. This just doesn't want to sit there, and if you literally move your face, it's going to drop. Okay, so that bit is just not going to sit up. And this is what we're dealing with. I feel like it just, it's just wet and slimy and sluggy. Why do I look like a ninja turtle? Okay, well, I'm gonna try and like sit with it on like this for like 15 minutes while I edit and see if it works. It's been 10 minutes and the amount of times I've had to slide this up is actually a joke. There it is, there's the mask. I mean, to be honest, if you're gonna sit there and lie back, it's probably great, but I've not enjoyed it because I wanted to get things done while I had my mask on like I do my sheet masks. I mean, my skin feels a bit nice. I'm going to pop that in the bin. My skin does feel nice and moist though. I'm just going to rub the juices in. 
it they are like so juicy sheet masks and i just feel like the gel ones are just even worse anyway huns that is the end of me trying Save As Beauty products for 24 hours. You really do like these 24 hour beauty product videos. So if you want us to continue to do more, make sure you give this one a thumbs up. Subscribe down below so I know that these are something that you like and enjoy and want to see more of. And where else do you want us to do? I have a list of them and I'm going to work my way through them. But if you've got any suggestions, just be sure to let me know. But without further ta-ta, I'll let you go and I'll see you very shortly for another video. Bye! <laughs>